Iowa has once again surpassed a deadly milestone. More than 300 people have died so far this year on the state's roads. And the Iowa State Patrol says many of those crashes are because of distracted drivers. Only on KCCI, Scott Carpenter tells us why one woman is making it her life's work to change that. Ask anybody on the street. What do you notice about people driving today? Too many people on the phone. Usually on their phone. And they'll tell you they see distracted drivers everywhere. I've been hit from behind. From a distracted driver? Yes. For some, that anger has turned to tears. How often do you think of them? Every day. All the time. In May of 2015, Christy Castenson's husband Dave was driving his mom Velma to a doctor's appointment. While driving past this intersection near Dayton, they were sideswiped by a distracted driver. The doctor came in and said that, you know, the typical words, we're trying everything we can. And then when he came back, he said he was gone. Dave and Velma died at the hospital shortly after the crash. Christy says Dave was the life of any party. He was just 56 years old, leaving behind a wife and four kids with a granddaughter on the way. In your life, you have that person you can talk to, your go-to, and you don't have that anymore. And until it's gone, you don't understand. And I, I have, my family's been great, the kids have been wonderful, but then I always hurt for them too, because they don't have that figure in their lives anymore. In the months following the crash, State Patrol found evidence that a 21-year-old man was texting when he blew through this stop sign and smashed into Dave's car. He was later charged with two counts of homicide by vehicle while texting and driving, marking the first Iowa case where somebody was charged for distracted driving. Christy has now channeled her grief into action. I don't want anyone to go through it. She's making it her mission for the Iowa legislature to pass stricter hands-free laws. Sergeant Alex Dinkla says the Iowa State Patrol is echoing that call. We're going to continue to work on um, making that a law here in Iowa. 304 people have died on Iowa roads so far this year, a 10% increase from last year and a nearly 15% increase over the past five years. Every year, the state aims to have less than 300 traffic deaths. Once again, the state has failed to meet that benchmark, marking 98 years since Iowa has had less than 300 deaths on the roads. So far this year, the patrol counts 40,000 crashes with more than 1,000 people seriously hurt. ISP says with the current hands-free law, which limits texting while driving, it's nearly impossible to crack down on distracted drivers. There's abilities for us in a fatality crash, but all those little fender benders, um, going into the work to find out if somebody was truly on their cell phone, it's not done today. So the numbers are far underreported. And let's put this into perspective. The Iowa State Patrol says on average, every time a driver picks up their phone, they travel the length of a football field before they put their eyes back on the road. ISP says they conducted a poll that shows 80% of Iowans want stricter hands-free laws. Dinkla says if it's passed, Iowa's roads will be safer. We know from other states um, that have recently enacted hands-free legislation, they have seen a stark reduction in their um, not only just regular crashes, but the fatality crashes drop. Behind every deadly crash <laughs> is a grieving family. Christy will be at the state house this year advocating for a law she believes will save somebody from the grief she feels every day. 100% my drive. I want this done. I, it needs to be done. Last year, a stricter hands-free law passed the state Senate but failed to become law. I reached out to the governor's office about the potential for a new law to be signed this upcoming legislative session, but did not hear back. Scott Carpenter, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.